Alright, so I'm going to show you how to turn these boring ass stock OEM rims into these shiny black rims using just spray paint and some water and, and effort. First is to grab some 320 grit sandpaper or around there and just sand out the imperfections, you know, like uh, curb rash and all that other scratches. You just want to buff up the surface so the paint or the primer can actually stick to it better. So as you can see here, I'm mostly just sanding the uh, the imperfections and the rough spots, but I am sanding all of the surface and be careful along the edges and uh, make sure to spray a lot of water because the water like uh, sucks away the particles so they're not airborne and it makes the sanding look a lot better. After you've sanded pretty much every single surface of this this rim, you're going to want to wash it all off. Make sure all the debris is gone because we want this to be spotless when it dries. So make sure to go over it multiple times and have all the water drip off. Now take out your least favorite microfiber towel or cloth and just make sure you dry the absolute hell out of it. We don't want any water on this whatsoever because water mixed with paint will just run and ugly and, and just stupid stuff like that. So make sure it's super dry even after you're done like toweling it down. Maybe leave it for like a f you know half an hour or something. Make sure there's no dust that falls on it too. I even get another towel to dry it even more just because the newer towel won't be moist and damp like the other one. So this will just make it as dry as your crush when she sees you. Now you can repurpose some of your body bags from the latest murder. Just tear them down the seams that are already there. You don't even need scissors. Just make it as flat as possible so you can stretch it over the tire. Next you must tape your victims so you don't get paint all over the tire because that would look stupid. So. I see people using like flashcards or whatever and that's you know that works but that's also kind of retarded and janky so just do yourself a favor and do it the long way because it's much better in the end you can cover both sides and it's not going to fall off if you move the the tire but yeah so just slot it in between the tire and the rim and you should be good to go make sure the edges of the tape aren't sticking out and covering part of the rim or else it'll look like a scratch when you're done painting it all right so now we're going to do the first layer of primer Make sure you shake the shit out of the can for a minute and then spray away from the tire just to clear up the nozzle. And then uh, make sure when you spray, you spray away from the tire and then move your wrist into it. Because when you first start spraying, it's like has a, like a fucking cum shot of just blobs of shit everywhere and it looks ugly. And uh, right now we're just going for really light layers. Like we should not cover most of it. The first layer should look like this, like basically you just put paint in your mouth and you accidentally sneezed all over it. It's just like dotted all over the place. You don't want to put it on thick, uh, contrary to what, you know, shut up. Make sure you wait 10 minutes between spraying. Um, your can will tell you exactly what to do, but who the fuck reads? You're watching a video after all. After you shake the shit out of the can once again, you put on another layer of primer. This time it could be a little thicker than before. Uh, now you can cover most of it, but try not to make it drip. You know, just watch what I'm doing. So as you can see, we've covered most of it, but uh, it's not very shiny because uh, right now we've just been spraying it and like little beads of the paint have been falling on it, you know, but they haven't really mixed together to form like a smooth surface. And that's what the final layer is gonna do. We're gonna put it on thicker and make sure it all gets smushed together. So now here's the final layer. Now I'm putting it on pretty thick, just not thick enough so that it drips all over the place because that's pretty hard to get rid of. Uh, notice that I'm not keeping my hand in a single spot because if you do, it tends to make a big ass pool and it's really ugly and you can't get rid of it. So straight lines or circular lines, just don't hold it in one spot. And don't get too close because it'll do the same thing. Check it out now, it's smooth as ass cheeks, but as you can see there's like a, a weird texture that almost looks like an orange peel and that's exactly what it's called, it's called orange peel. Uh, you could sand that off if you want, I don't really care because these are rims, not you know body panels, it's you know whatever. I didn't show the part where I painted the inside, but I recommend painting the inside first because if you do it the other way around, when you paint the, the front first and then go to the inside, there would be like little residue, like as you can see right here that ends up on the outside, just just don't do it. 
I don't have to explain myself. Just don't fucking do it. Basically, it's the same shit as before. You shake the shit out of the can and then you just do very, very light coats. Like as if you would sneeze on it. Just like before. Nothing new. There you go. Looks like I just sprinkled a bunch of pepper all over it. And it, uh, right now it's, it, you know, that's how it looks. Now you jump straight to layer 46. Just kidding. It's the second layer. It's just like before. You spray it on just a little bit thicker. And make sure you start and stop away from the rim. So you don't have little cum shots of black paint. You might actually be noticing that I'm the, the spray can is very close to the rim. And if you saw right there, this is why you should not get close to the can. It has like little splurges of cum that just come out. But the reason is the can was running out and I highly suggest even if the can is running out uh, but you still have paint, don't continue doing it because you're going to end up with little fucking splurges of paint that'll fucking piss you off like it did to me. So just get another can of paint, shake the shit out of it for a minute and then continue where you left off. Just look at how the spray pattern is much stronger on this, more even and it's better and you know, other stuff. As you can see, most of it is covered on top, but the sides are still kind of peppery and splurged everywhere. That's better so that the paint on top doesn't run down the sides because the sides are still dry, like sort of dry. And uh, as you can see, there's some curb rash on it. I didn't really care. I just wanted to get it black. So uh, yeah, now you just wait 10 minutes for it to dry to the touch and then do your next layer. So for the final layer, you want to spray it just thick enough so that all the little beads of paint stick together and form one continuously smooth surface. Uh, you don't want to go too thick so that it runs down the side. I mean, it's not horrible if it runs down the side because nobody's going to see it. But as you can see, I'm still keeping my distance and I'm not holding my hand in one spot. But uh, every time I see like a spot where it looks like peppery and bumpy, I just go over it very briefly so that it's all smooth. And uh, you'll see. So it looks great on the top, but when you look down the side, you see that ugly ass peppery surface. So I'm going to fix that real quick. There you go. You can see it's all peppery. So I'm just going to blast the shit out of it with some more paint until it's smooth and shiny. And if you look on the left, it's the same deal. You got uh, a bit of pepperiness there. Just keep putting layers until they all s like mix together until it's shiny and sexy. Here I'm going over it just a little bit more because I've noticed it's like a little peppery just a little bit and I would like it to get shiny. As you can see right there that's the dry spot we want to fill it in and watch how it all gets smushed together into one nice looking black surface. So while you let it dry for about an hour make sure you close your garage door if you're doing it in the garage because you don't want shit flying in and landing on top of it because that usually happens. You could also put a cover on it too if you really wanted to. Don't fucking sand it. You never sand paint. That's just a retarded idea. Now normally you can leave it as it is, but I'm going to put a layer of clear coat because I want this to last more than a month. And you know, because I have winters and stuff. So I've been using Rust-Oleum products for this because they're relatively cheap and pretty good quality. But their clear coat is the biggest prank ever. Like for every fucking spray paint, you should wait like an hour to a day before it dries, before you put on other stuff on it. Not with this clear coat, you gotta wait half an hour after the paint dries before you spray it on. Otherwise, it actually digs up the paint and forms these disgusting ridges that you're seeing right now. So that's my key point for you today. If you're using Rust-Oleum clear coat on Rust-Oleum paint, make sure you spray it on half an hour after the final coat of paint. There you go, it's not smooth anymore and that's courtesy to the first layer of spray paint. I mean, clear coat. So this is what it should look like. Same shit as before, do a light coat. Here's your second layer of clear coat. Uh, make sure it's thin layers just like before, but uh, you know, coverage. And here's the final layer of clear coat. Make sure you spray it on a little thicker and do the same thing as you did with the paint. But make sure you don't spray it on so thick that when the paint starts to evaporate or the clear coat evaporates, you know, as it dries, it doesn't leave bubbles inside the paint or the clear coat because that's fucking annoying. So just put it on just thick enough so that it's, you know, smooth and no more of that peppery crap. 
clear coat dries in like an hour to a day but it only fully gets hard like me after about a week after it's been about a week or in this case two days you can rip off all that shit and be careful because it does flick pieces of shit everywhere like like that right there and uh when you're gonna polish it you don't want those shits on there so make sure you wipe it off now as you can see here that's that orange peel again now you could sand it off with like 1000 and 3000 5000 grit sandpaper but that's a whole lot of fucking work so i recommend just using compound and buff it out as much as you can and I said compound, not polish, because compound is much more aggressive than polish. It'll still keep it shiny, but it will leave tiny scratches you won't be able to notice. So squirt a little bit of a cum stain, something that you would have right after seeing nude pictures of your crush that were photoshopped by you, and then knead it in there, and uh, make sure you just dab it on a few spots. And I like to do two spokes at a time for this five spoke wheel, and then just rub the shit out of it, uh, it's pretty hard to burn through clear coat using compound, so don't fucking go ham on one spot for about an hour and you should be fine. Also, try to do it in straight lines. Uh, swirl marks will just make it more noticeable that it's scratched. Grab two microfiber towels. One is your buffing towel and the other one's your finishing towel. So basically, the buffing towel just pretty much wipes off most of it and the finishing towel gets any remaining residue off you really want to make sure you get it all off so it's shiny because if you don't they'll just be like little smudge marks and it'll look stupid there you go that orange peel is gone but as you can see there are swirl marks from the compound i don't really give a shit because the only way you're going to notice it is if first of all the rim is not dirty which is pretty fucking hard to accomplish and if you shine a light right onto it but you could get a polish and wipe it off and then put wax on it if you really fucking wanted to. I'm not going to do that. There you go. Now that your wheels are blacked out and they're not ugly OEM stock shit, your crush might actually think about talking to you. Just kidding. She's probably going to puke at the thought of you spray painting your own rims because you're a fucking broke ass nibba. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. If you like the video, good. And hit that bell icon.